Hi guys, it's Adam Zulkanin and if you're finding that your Amazon PPC campaign isn't getting any impressions or not enough impressions, this is the video for you. Is your Amazon PPC not getting impressions or are you not getting enough of those impressions from your Amazon PPC? When we see an Amazon PPC campaign that is generating little to nothing impressions or not as many impressions that we would like, we have a number of things that we would check a number of go-tos and that's what I'm going to walk you through in today's video. What should you adjust and change if you're not getting those impressions? Impressions in your advertising console refer to the number of times your ad is displayed or shown to users on Amazon. In other words, it represents how many times your ad is viewed by potential customers and that's how many times your ad was viewed, not clicked on. When a user searches for a relevant keyword or is browsing a relevant product category, Amazon may display your ad alongside other search results or other product listings. Each time your ad appears on the screen, it counts as an impression. So the fewer impressions you receive, the less your ad is shown, which means you have less opportunities to make sales. Okay, so on to the troubleshooting. So the first step is to make sure that your campaign is healthy and that it's actually eligible and delivering. So firstly, you need to go to your advertising console and find your campaign. Now look at this. The status shows as delivering, but this is not always the case because when you click into the campaign and then into the ad group, that's when you can see the status. It could say not eligible like this or a number of other errors. But in order for your campaign to actually work, the status needs to be delivering at the ad group level. And you need to actually have the buy box and an active live listing, otherwise your ad will simply not work. Now the second step is to assess the keywords that you're targeting in the campaign. Are the keywords you're targeting relevant to your product? And do the keywords that you're actually targeting have enough search volume. Your keywords should closely align with the product that you're selling. If there's a disconnect and your targeting is way too broad, for example, if you're selling a kid's baby spoon and you're targeting an outdoor camping tent, then shoppers will be less likely to see your ads. I can't stress enough, Amazon really doesn't like showing irrelevant ads to its customers. I mean, why would they want to? It's like throwing money away and it makes your product seem out of place to your customers and to Amazon and to its algorithm. The other point is targeting terms with lower search volumes. Now sellers typically spend a lot of time researching keywords for their listing and for their PPC. And sometimes they end up with longer tail keywords with very low search volumes. Now on the surface, these keywords might seem attractive because there's less competition but they might be so niche and so specific that they don't generate enough search traffic. The third reason is because your keyword bids are too low. You've got to remember, Amazon PPC works as an auction system where the seller bids on the search terms in order to win the ad proposition in Amazon's search results. So when you set your keyword, you're basically telling Amazon how much you're willing to pay for your click on your ad when someone searches for that keyword. If your bid is too low, it may not be competitive enough against other sellers who are bidding higher for the same keyword. Now you need to increase your bid and then check your impressions to see the effect of that change. The fourth reason that you might be getting little to none impressions is due to your budgets. The budgets at a campaign level and the budgets at an account level. Each PPC campaign you run on Amazon has its own set budget. Once you exhaust this budget, your ads will stop running for the day. So if you've set this budget too low, especially if you're bidding aggressively or competitively, you're likely to run out of budget quickly, which means your ads would pause before the day ends. Another point regarding your daily budget in campaigns is having too many keywords in one campaign, which means that there's not enough budget in your campaign to go around for all of those keywords. Now, of course, some keywords will generate more impressions and clicks than others. Some will have more search volume than others. So having too many keywords in one campaign will just spread your budget way too thin. And the main issue here is that even if some of your keywords are performing well and they have the potential to keep on performing, 
they might not get the chance to because at the end of the day, your budget is being consumed by too many keywords. So you should ideally stick to five keywords per campaign maximum. And that is so that you can have more control over the spending and better performance with your campaign. And lastly, you have the account level budget. Amazon allows you to set an overall daily budget for all of your campaigns combined. This is like an umbrella limit for your advertising. If this daily budget is reached, all of your campaigns, regardless of their individual budgets, will stop running for the day. So for the account level and the individual campaign budgets, you need to increase them so that you have enough budget to generate impressions, clicks, and of course sales. Now just a little piece of advice for when you're starting out, you might play it safe with smaller budgets and lower bids early on, and that's all fine. But as soon as you see those clicks and those orders starting to roll in, don't just sit back, but rather step on the gas. Slowly increase your bids so that you get a higher chance of getting more impressions and clicks, and raise your budgets so that you have enough of that budget to capture the demand for those clicks and those orders. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope today's video has helped you. If you enjoyed this video, if you found any value in this video, please like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.